today we are starting off the episode by selling Eric Weddle. I mean, it's not something I want to do because this guy has made so many plays for us. And plus his beard. His beard is just intimidating. Hashtag fear the beard. But I had to go ahead and we are bringing in a new free safety in today's episode. You guys see me, you know, just acting a fool. Pulling out some shenanigans against the computer. That solo challenge did give us the last collectible needed to finish the ultimate Steve Atwater set. Now I know a lot of you guys want to see gameplay with that flashback. Freddy B. If you guys didn't see that video, make sure you check it out. He will be debuting in the next episode. This was actually before I did that video. So here's Atwater, 95 speed, 101 hit power, standing at 6 foot 3. The offense, things are staying the same. The defense, Steve Atwater's in there at free safety. And also we brought back this guy right here, Bruce Smith. One of the best cards I've used in Mutt, especially for the price. Michael Sam is the player he is replacing. I know a lot of you guys were asking, like TD. Why are you using Michael Sam? He was actually from my in real life pack opening and he was the only right end I pulled. So that's why we were using him. But here we are starting this game off in the second quarter. Down 7 to nothing. Tavon Austin looking to make something happen. Instead, he ends up fumbling the football. Tavon, that's just, that's not a good look, bro. So we're down 7 to nothing already. Colin Kaepernick dropping back. Looking to the back of the end zone. But Rob Gronkowski, he wasn't even throwing for Rob Gronkowski. But he made sure... They were getting a touchdown on that play to make things 14 to nothing. So down 14 to nothing. A lot of people in this situation would fold, but we end up finding Percy Harvin, and that's going to go ahead and open this game back up. So we're only down seven. Now let's see if our defense can finally come away with a stop. Kaepernick dropping back, finding Jordan Nelson. He actually fumbles the football, but he was able to recover it right back. So on second and five, he is going to give this one to Chris Johnson. Breaks out of a tackle, and he's all the way up to the 40-yard line. To set up the Lions with a new set of downs. Kaepernick rolling out to the right. It doesn't look like he has anything but Jordy Nelson. This man is not dropping anything. I mean, normally those passes would get like deflected out of the receiver's hands. But these guys, they are hanging on the football. Colin Kaepernick, an impressive 11 for 15. Later on, 39. Kaepernick taking a shot deep for Rob Gronkowski. And somehow, he gets his feet in bounds. And our defense just has no answer for my opponent that puts him up 21 to 7 so with 50 seconds remaining in the half we got to make something happen here Vincent Jackson all the way to my opponent's 44 yard line we find Demarius Thomas he went for the interception so we have some open space break out of one tackle breaks out of a second tackle and the only thing stopping Demarius Thomas on that play was you know the the sideline so later on second and two from the five we probably had a chance to find Percy Harvin on that play. Instead, I decided to go ahead and throw it away. Third and two, my opponent was ready for the run. He sent an all-out blitz, and I decided to go ahead and settle for the field goal to make this a 21-10 to game. Now, starting off the second half, we did get down the field. We did add another field goal to make things 21-13, to so hopefully we can finally stop Kaepernick. But the problem is we are showing no signs of slowing this guy down. Later at second and 10, another play action, Kaepernick. Rolling out to the left, and I am there with Steve Atwater, the force to fumble, and Mario Williams is there to recover. That is the break we needed because we're only down eight points with plenty of time left in this football game. Here goes Walter Payton up the middle. Really? We finally get a stop on defense, and just like that, our defense is right back on the field, so we're going to have to go ahead and do it all over again. Derek Johnson. I mean, this guy has dropped so many interceptions this year. I'm not even surprised he dropped that one, but that would have went back for six. So Colin Kaepernick on second and ten. This man is just running circles around our defense. He has like 300 total yards on offense. Later on first and goal, Denard Robinson up the middle. Really? Denard Robinson is scoring a touchdown on us? I mean, I, I just don't know what to say. We're down 28 to 13. We have about five minutes remaining in the game. We got to get something quick here. Now, rolling out to the right with Russell Wilson. We have a man deep. Once again, that is Percy Harvin. This guy is just getting behind my opponent's secondary and just wrecking havoc. Russell Wilson, 8 for 12 for almost 300 yards. Go ahead, tack on five more because that is Bennett in for the touchdown. And just like that, we are right back in this game. But all we need is a stop on defense. Colin Kaepernick finding Alshon Jeffrey. I don't know. We just don't have an answer later on second and 10 Kaepernick that was like the same exact play but this time to Mike Evans on the other side of the field and Eric Reed is finally there to bring him down 
finally we get a sack. That was Mario Williams bringing down Kaepernick. So that's going to put him in a bad situation. Third and 14. He's going to go ahead. Look for Rob Gronkowski. But Eric Reed is there for the interception. Let's see if we can get a return here. Another spin move. Breaks out of a tackle. No way. Eric Reed is going to end up bringing this one all the way back to the house. What an impeccable return to go ahead and make this a two-point game. Now, I decided to go ahead and come out in slants. But I saw my opponent only had three guys on the defensive line. So I decided to switch it to a run play, and we got stuffed. Walter Payton had absolutely nowhere to go. So at the two-minute mark now, we got to get a stop, or this game is over. Chris Johnson barely short of a first down. So my opponent goes with a no huddle. It's third and one here, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to bring an all-out blitz. Kaepernick, he's going to keep it himself, and he gets stood up by Mario Williams. And we're going to go ahead and use our timeout. So down two, all we need to do is get in the field goal range here. Demarius Thomas really nowhere to go on the wide receiver screen. There's no time to panic here. We still have plenty of time. I'm looking across the middle, and this one gets intercepted. What was I thinking? Now, I'm not sure if I should let him score. I don't think it really matters because this game is going to end up being over maybe it's not we'll just have to wait and see so we do have 59 seconds we're gonna have to go ahead score as quickly as possible recover an onside kick and score again there's like a two percent chance of that happening but there's still a chance so we're not going to give up yet later on first and 10 russell wilson looking deep down the field that is bennett this guy along with percy harvin have had monster games we use our last time out of the game Wilson from the 11 finds Bennett, his second touchdown in the game. The extra point is going to make this a two-point game. So an onside kick here, and we have a chance to win this game. Here's the kick, but we have absolutely no chance of recovering this one. Now, soon after the onside kick, my opponent decided to go ahead, put in his mic, and, you know, say some extra words about the game. I'm not going to say if they were nice or not because, well, we all know they weren't. He ended up getting a delay of game because he was talking so much. Now, here... He gets a second delay of game, so I decided to go ahead and, you know, put in my mic and start talking back to see if we could go ahead and get him a third delay of game penalty because after that one, he ends up getting kicked from the game, so my opponent ends up getting the loss, and when I got back to the main menu, the perfect season is still alive. I couldn't believe it, man. I mean, my opponent, all he had to do was take a knee and... The game was over, but instead he decided to go ahead, talk some trash, and we end up getting the win because of it. Now I decided to open up one random pro pack because I don't even know, but we end up getting a Reggie Nelson. But that is it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. I am going to leave a straw poll in the comment section down below, so be sure to go ahead, check that out. And until next time, guys, peace out.